Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make slow cooker cauliflower soup with bacon and cheese. Don't tell anybody, it's our secret. Um, it's low carb, it's keto, low calorie, but high in protein, um, and it tastes really good. So, And you can put it in a slow cooker. Um, you can also just cook it on the stove top. I have instructions for how to do that um, on my blog. And you can also start on the stove top and then convert to a slow cooker. Um, my slow cooker actually has an option to saute and brown and all of those things in the slow cooker itself. So like I was saying, my slow cooker has the option to do slow cook, roast, brown and saute, or steam. So I've already got it really warm. So I'm gonna add in four strips of bacon that I cut into super small little pieces. I gotta love a good sizzle. Sizzle for shizzle. So the bacon is gonna add obviously a good flavor, but it's also gonna be the fat that we end up cooking the onion and browning our cauliflower in. So it's gonna have a dual purpose and then you don't have to add any more olive oil or anything like that. So we're gonna let it brown for a few minutes and then we'll take it out and put it on a plate with paper towel. Okay, hi there. This is my fun little tripod because I don't have an assistant. I was gonna show y'all while the bacon cooks how to cut a cauliflower. So you got your big old head of cauliflower here. What you wanna do is just cut it in half. And then you see all these little florets right here? All we're gonna do is get your knife and just kinda run them through the florets. Easy peasy. Now you're just gonna peel them back. See, pretty. And then you just cut off this last little guy right here. And voila, throw away this little bit. Bye bye to you, my friend. And now we've got cauliflower florets. And I'm just gonna cut them into smaller pieces because we want them to be about even size so that they cook evenly in the slow cooker or on your stove. Voila. Okay, I said goodbye to the tripod because that was a little difficult. I need about 17 hands. So as you can see, the bacon is browning in the slow cooker, um, getting all that good bacon deliciousness um, into the crock pot. Um, so while I have a couple minutes, I thought I would explain why my crock pot is named Willie. Isn't he cute? Um, the little sticker says it's all going to crock. Um, he has a song called It's All Going To. Um, but anyway, my friend made that little decal for me because I love to listen to Willie Nelson's album Stardust um, whenever I'm cooking. Um, I don't know, it just kind of puts me in like a real zen mood and um, I'm not smoking while I cook. Um, but cooking has that effect on me. It makes me very calm and relaxed and um, I don't know, there's something about cooking, you know, it gives you instant gratification, right? Like some people mow the lawn or build things or are artistic. Um, I like to cook because I have these things, I throw them together and then I have a product that I can see um, and eat, which is always kind of nice. Um, and the reason I really love the slow cooker, um, especially this one, um, is because you can do all kinds of things in it. Um, and then you come home and like it's done for the day and you're not, you know, stepping over Buzz and Woody while you're trying to cook, um, therefore breaking your neck or screaming at your children or whatever. Um, I'm gonna link up this crock pot as well as a couple other things that I use. Um, like for example, my garlic press that I'm gonna talk about and the immersion blender that I'm gonna use at the end to make the soup really smooth and delicious. Um, so that will be linked up on my blog and also on the YouTube post um, whenever I put this lovely, very high quality professional video up. All right, so our bacon is nice and brown, so I've just removed all those little bits of deliciousness to a paper towel lined plate. And now I'm gonna add in half a yellow onion that I've diced, you know, pretty fine. We're gonna get our spoon. Give it a good stir, get all that bacon grease around in it. You want all the flavor that you can get. And we're gonna brown the onion for about, I don't know, eight minutes until it's nice and soft. Um, and then we're gonna throw in some garlic because that's always a good idea. Now while the onion cooks, we're gonna talk about onion goggles. That's right. 
can buy these bad boys on Amazon. I'm gonna link these up too, but I don't know if you're like me, I cry like a baby whenever I cut even just half an onion. Um, it is horrible, <laughs> and I've tried everything. I heard like cold water, lemon juice, blah, 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 blah. Um, and these are the best thing that I found. They come in a set of two, and they get a little froggy after a while, but hey, my eye makeup is still intact, so I will also put a little link if you also struggle with the onion tears because that's just a sad thing. All right, now we're getting somewhere. We got our onion nice and brown, about eight minutes until um, it's all softened and delicious. Now we're gonna add in, it's about three cloves of garlic. Now I have to say, I love garlic. So if you want a little bit less, that will not hurt my feelings. And in fact, I won't even know about it because I'm not at your house. Um, so just add in the garlic and with garlic, you don't wanna overcook it. If it starts to burn, it gets bitter and then you lose all the good flavor that garlic should be. Um, so just give it a stir and once you smell it, maybe about 15, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, just go ahead and keep moving with your recipe. Don't keep cooking. So I'm already smelling some good garlic, you know, fantastic things. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in all of our delicious cauliflower. And I'm really good at this um, two-handed video making. Um, you know, DM me for instructions. Can I do it? Can I do it? I did it. All right. So now you hear that good sizzle again. So I'm gonna get some tongs and I'm gonna give this a good toss and let the cauliflower start to get some good brown color on it. So if you've made it this far into the video, then I feel like you're pretty committed to uh, making this soup, which makes me really happy. Um, so you get to know that this soup basically, I know it says cauliflower and you know, people are like, oh my God, cauliflower again. Uh, especially on my blog, I like cauliflower a lot. Um, but the reason, I love cauliflower is it can take on the flavor of whatever you have in it. In our case, you know, bacon, garlic, and onion, and later we're gonna add some cheese. So the cauliflower really soaks it up without making it, you know, super heavy. Um, to me and John Boy, my husband, it tastes like potato soup um, with like less than half the calories and carbs, um, which this time of year is just kind of par for the course, right? I mean, January, New Year's resolutions and all that jazz, but, um, Anyway, so cauliflower for us is kind of a staple and we use it in all kinds of different ways. Um, you can see that the cauliflower is starting to brown, um, get that good color on it, oh, where it is, there we go. Um, <laughs> really good at this, holding the phone and videoing thing. Um, so we're gonna let it go probably 10 minutes and I'm just gonna keep tossing it with the tongs so that it gets evenly browned. And after that is when we're gonna add in our seasonings and our stock and turn it down and then let it do its job. If you're doing this on the stove, after you brown the cauliflower is the time that you would transfer it to a crock pot. Or you can just keep cooking it on the stove, um, probably like an hour or so, just let it simmer. Um, and I have all those instructions on the blog in the printable recipe, so you're safe. Alrighty, so we got some nice brown cauliflower. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this bad boy, Willie, um, to low. I'm gonna actually, yeah, no, today I'm gonna cook it on high. If you're doing it on low, it would take about six hours. Um, I'm gonna do it on high and cook it for about four until the cauliflower gets nice and soft. Alrighty, so now we're gonna add in our seasoning, which is some thyme, chili flakes, salt and pepper, and a good old bay leaf that we'll take out before we, um, you know, do the immersion blender and get it smooth. You don't wanna chop up that bad boy. That wouldn't taste so delicious. Now we're gonna add in five cups of chicken stock. So there's four. How many more do we need, kids? One. Four plus one is five. Um, and fun fact, each carton of chicken stock has four cups. So that's easy peasy, right? Okay, so now I've got all the goodness in there. Gonna give it a stir. And we're gonna let it cook. So again, this time I'm doing high for four hours. You could do low for six and just let it wait. Um, it's not gonna overcook because there's no meat in it. So you're, you're golden. Um, and then the bacon that I've got that's all kind of cooled, I'm just gonna put this in a Tupperware and let it stay in the fridge until it's time to eat. And that's pretty much it. When we get time to eat, we're gonna um, turn off the heat, add in some cheese in half and half, because why not? 
Um, and then we'll use an immersion blender to blend it up. Now, if you don't have an immersion blender, life will go on. You can use a potato masher. Um, you could, you know, carefully pour it into a blender and blend it up. Um, don't leave the little insert top part, um, the little plastic part. Um, on top when you blend it up, you want to have something to ventilate the heat. Otherwise, um, I just realized my dog is right there. Um, it's my sous chef. Um, anyways, you got to leave the top off the blender. Otherwise, if you put something hot in there and put the top totally on and blend it, you're going to get an explosion, um, which is probably not, you know, on your to-do list for the day. Um, so yeah, I will see y'all in about four hours. And fun fact, I'll have my kids home. So we're going to see how that goes as I'm trying to do this little video. Um, so yeah, can't wait to show you all the rest of this slow cooker, bacon, cheddar, and cauliflower soup. Thanks for watching. Hey friends, here we are a few hours later and my cauliflower is now fork tender. Um, so that means, oh, steamy McSteamers. There you go. Um, so that means that it's time for us to go ahead and finish up the soup. Um, so we're gonna discard our little bay leaf here because like I said, that wouldn't be so fun to um, grind up and have later. Um, and now I'm gonna turn the crock pot to low and we're gonna add our heavy cream and two cups of cheddar cheese. Um, so we're just gonna give that a nice little pour. And we just add a little bit, we don't need a whole lot and it, a little bit goes a long way. Um, yes, I would recommend full fat, you know, heavy whipping cream. Um, I don't know, I'm not a low fat kind of girl. I think, you know, um, you can use full fat things, just use less of it um, for the flavor. Um, I wouldn't recommend using, you know, like a light cheese or a light dairy product. Um, go full fat, but just a little bit, you know, less than what you would do normally. Okay, so now I've got my cheddar and my heavy cream. So here's where it gets really fun. We're gonna use this big guy. This is an emulsion blender. So what I'm gonna do is hire a videographer next time. Um, but basically it's just got a little button that you push and then there's a little blade at the bottom that's gonna frappe all of our, frappe, all of our cauliflower to get a nice little even mixture. So let's see how well I do this. <laughs> So you get the idea. So I'm gonna finish this up, hopefully with not much of a mess, and we can finish this lovely soup. Okie doke, no mess, happy to report. Um, so now I'm just, I took off the top part and this can just go in the top rack of the dishwasher, which is amazing. Um, and then we just ladle it up. Um, you can top it with some green onion. You could top it with um, that bacon that we had sauteed earlier, browned up, and then use the oil for our onion. Um, you can add more cheese. Um, if you really want to make it like a meat dish, you could put in some shredded chicken, maybe some ground beef. Um, the world is your oyster, um, as they say. I never know where that came from. It's kind of like a weird thing. Um, so that's it. Slow cooker, bacon, cheddar, and cauliflower soup.